All right, I've been putting it off long enough. Hello, folks. My name is Mando Farmer. My real name is Dan, so I call myself Dano a lot. So you'll hear me say that. But Mando, I call myself that because Boba Fett was one of my favorite characters in Star Wars way before it was cool. Um, and now it's become all kinds of cool and popular. It's got its own show. I got all this stuff that I can use. So it's made it nice and easy. So here's where I'm at, folks. I am doing a challenge. I play this game on console normally. I am relatively new to PC, thus the help windows in the corner. Sorry for the little spasm there. Um, that was just to emphasize the help window. Um, yeah, so I'm doing a challenge. This is a challenge that was put forth to somebody that I watch do content creating. He's very good at what he does. His name is L Family Gaming Dad. And this is the Willamina Force Challenge that he started and was unfortunately unable to complete due to the fact that his computer started lagging really bad. Hopefully, we do not run into the same said situation. But what the challenge is, I found it quite interesting because I truly do enjoy logging in this game. I enjoy this game in general, but I enjoy logging. Is a big part of the game. Um, I just don't like loading them, so we had to go to PC to get that auto load, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but anyways, I digress. So the challenge is to here. Let me read it to you. Starting only with the jeep, a trailer, and a chainsaw, which you can see jeep with said trailer behind it, the yellow one. You can't see it from this perspective. I lie. Don't judge me. Um, yeah, they, uh, and my chainsaw here. We got to start with only those. We can, first work, thing we got to do is clear all the roads and make area for placeables, which we will start our way into here. I'm going to work my way down to the sawmill. I did a little scouting on this map beforehand. We're going to head down, down to the sawmill and we'll purchase that land once we get down there. But clearing the roads there should make us a decent chunk of change, I'm thinking. These roads are a little crazy, as you can see. So, the challenge reads, you have to, first job is to clear the lands and roads and set up for an area for placeables. I can keep the money I make for that, but I just can't pay off any loans with it. I am allowed to take loans throughout the game, should I choose. I do not like loans, so I will probably not be taking any loans. And I will repeat this later on, um, as far as letting you guys know what the challenge is as I go along. But then I need to build three arable farms, arable fields on my farm, and at least one animal pen of any sort. Can be any sort I choose. I'm probably going to do sheep because it goes well with the platinum expansion um, production of with wood and such, making me um, animal toys. So I think that's what I'm going to search start by doing. So that'll be my animals. Just sheep. They're easy to do. Um, and then by the time it's all done, that pasture has to be at full capacity and have one trailer full of its product which should be easy enough to do must have must end with a turnover of one million dollars um, which is also something that I don't think should be an issue uh, must build in enough placeables to make it look like a community so my plan is is to use all the money that I gather here in the beginning to kind of create that town I'm going to start by saying that I can't really have anything more than myself and the sawmill going um, only because I don't have any houses. There's nothing on this map. If you guys have ever played this map before, you'll see it's very barren. Um, I'll show you here in a second. I know you're saying, why, why, Mando? Are you cutting your stuff so short? Well, I'm 
cutting it so short because my trailer will only auto load it. If I cut it to 4.5 meters, and like I said before, I hate loading. So that's where I'm going to be at. There's going to be a lot of logging to start with. Um, so let me kind of show you real quick here. I'm going to jump to the map so y'all can see it. Um, but this will give you an idea of the land. As you see, there's not much here. There's an animal dealer. I got two sell points, a livestock stock market, and the Willamina farmer's market. And then this is our goal for the beginning is to get ourselves the Willamina sawmill. And hopefully along with that, enough money to buy ourselves. I'm going to be buying, and you guys are probably going to think I'm crazy. But there's a method to my madness. So I'm going to be buying this truck here. And the reason I'm buying this is because the sleeper cab will allow me to sleep just like it's my house. So that's the truck I'm going to be getting there. Um, and then I'm going to be looking to match that up with... And I think I should be able to do this on normal economy. Um... Farm manager is how I started, which is part of the rules. Um, but, and then I want to get myself one of these because it auto loads. And I want to get myself, um, where is it? This last one here, because if you notice down here, it does 464 centimeters total, which none of the other ones do. They're all far smaller. Oh, of course, I chose the only other one that does. Pardon me. Both those two in the end do. <laughs> but if you notice, 60 even on that, 60 on that, and then we'll roll to, where's another one? Here's one. Ooh, 400. So that one's pretty good, but mine's still a little bit larger. So that's the reason for that. And then as far as trailers go, I'm going to look to get these two. I want to try to get these as a pair. Um, and only because I'll be able to do four stacks, which should give me a decent amount. And I'll cut all my logs to six meters, and I'll be able to do two stacks of two on each of those. And then I will pick myself up a dolly as well. And it'll be this bad boy here. So that's my plan as it stands for now. Um... I'm going to just keep chopping away at the wood here, because that's pretty much what I have to do to begin with. And I'm going to clear the roads down to the sawmill. Once I'm all the way down there, and before I do anything crazy, I'll bring you guys back in. Um, maybe we'll do a flyover or something like that, so you guys can kind of see. As soon as I'm done chopping up this one log, I'll give you guys a flyover of how it looks now um, versus how it's going to, that way when we're done, I can show you how it will look again. Sorry, I had to, got stuck on the tree. So if you notice in the lower left of my help menu there, I do have a measuring ability, which is something I didn't have on console. That's another reason for PC. You just have so many more choices on PC. PC has become my go-to for this game. Phenomenal game, though. Really do enjoy it. And uh, it's gotten me to actually put myself out there on YouTube, weirdly enough. So let's do this. Let's um, take a quick look around. I'll put on the flight mode real quick. And I'll up my running speed. So we'll move around a little bit. Put away my saw here, and up we go. So, that is where we started. That is our truck. That's what we've cleared. As you can see, it's going to make a big difference because these roads to where we're headed are awfully, awfully full of trees. All throughout so I want to cut all these trees all the way down to here and this is the sawmill and we'll end up building some productions here so ideally I'd like to try to end by owning this whole side all the way down 
down to the water here. We say, but Mando, let's go get them rocks. Oh, we will. We will. Be patient. Be patient. But I want to put in some housing. Maybe we'll put it in over here next to the water. Give them some water views. I don't know. We'll see. And then up here, I'll probably put in, up by the gas station up here, I'll probably end up putting in the Willamina PGA, which is really kind of nice. It uh, has coal as an option, so that'll probably end up going in here, but I'll need to clean, clear a bunch of trees to make that happen. Uh, so that's kind of where we're at to start this all off. But, yeah, I do. I want to get this whole thing. I want to end up owning this whole half. It would be nice to own this whole half of things. And get our productions cracking in this episode. So there may be some skips and jumps. And you guys may come and go. Um, and I may end up doing some time lapses. We'll kind of see how we go on all that. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Let's shut off light mode and return back down to Earth. <laughs> Ooh, quick way down. Sorry, I hope I didn't make anybody sick. Ooh, gotta turn down my running multiplier too. Holy cow. I just crashed into a tree and broke my face. Well done, Dan. Well done, Dan. Let's just turn that right off. And there we go. Back down to normal speed, Dan. Alright, well... I will bring you guys back in in a little bit. But yeah, I got, as you can see, a whole lot of work ahead of me. Um, you know what? Actually, I'll keep you guys in. I'll get this tree cut up. And then I'll get these two loaded. And then, uh... I'll call it good, because I don't think you guys are going to need to see me do a bunch of... Cutting and moving and cutting and moving and crashing and cutting. I mean, no, I don't crash. I don't ever crash. I'm perfect. No, I'm just kidding. You'll see. I probably will crash a bunch. Although I have to say, I find it a little bit easier to drive on PC versus console. Um, but I'm going to be getting myself a pedal and wheels here soon, and that'll make it a whole lot easier. Then it'll be like a caca. And I don't crash cars. Knock on wood. But yeah, so a little bit about myself. I, um, I'm an old man. <laughs> in comparison to a lot of people I see doing this, I hear people saying they were born in the 80s and whatnot doing this in the 90s. And I, unfortunately, was born in the 70s, mid-70s. 76, to be exact. So yeah, I'm an old man. Um, but I've been playing video games since video games became video games. So that is my one advantage, is that I'm an OG video game player, I should say. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Hopefully I am somewhat entertaining to you guys. And please let me know if there's anything I can do to make things different. I'm new to all of this, so please be kind. And, uh... Yeah, we'll go from there. I'm going to just get better and better. Whoa, back up. Go left, not back, man. Um, yeah, so as we go along, I'll just get better and better. This will be my last tree, and then we'll load her right up. And uh, I think that's about all that will fit. It's probably three trees. Maybe I can get four, but I'll get them loaded up, and then I won't put you guys through the agony of this anymore. And, uh, yeah, I'll bring you guys back in in a little bit after I get those loaded. But, yeah, it'll take me a couple more minutes to get these all cut to length. And away we'll go. I really don't think this challenge is going to be too hard as long as my computer can hang with the uh, graphics lag. Um, there's so much wood on this map. It is everywhere. And so once I own that Wilhelmina sawmill, it just chugs out product. It makes product like I've never seen. Um, so does the drying... I forget exactly what it's called. Drying building, perhaps? We'll look at it here in a second. 
Um, well, at the end of this, how about that? That's one of the first things I'm going to want to try to build. But I got to clean out that whole area too. So let's get in our Jeep here. Uh, I got to get that crane out of the way. Oh, wrong way. Gotta keep it centered over the basket, though, because if not, it'll tip me over. Alright, let's see if that's far enough out of the way. I hope so. Whoa, turned way too sharp. Like I said, I don't ever crash, right? Heh. <laughs> yeah, right. Alright, let's see what happens here, folks. First log, getting loaded up. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Is it going to work? Yes! Shoot! First log in. So that's about how it's gonna go. Long, slow, tedious process, but I will get through it. Um, yeah, I won't put you guys through it. I will let you bring you back in when I'm done. So, enjoy, and yeah, hopefully I'll film some more in a little while. Maybe do a montage or something. We'll see. Um, I don't know, I don't know. Notice I got knocked down to negative thirty-one dollars. Let's see. There we go. That's more like. It. There's some money in the bank. Twenty-eight eighty-eight cash in the black, folks. In the black. Let's see. So I'll show you this road. I'll keep you in for the ride back. See what you guys think of the road here. It's a little on the crazy side. See what I mean? 40 is way too fast for the wheels. Yeah, so there's like trees growing up out of everything. There's no easy way to get there. You notice they're just literally everywhere. So I think what I'll do is pick up that other load, and bring it back this way, and then I will start on the other end. And start at the sawmill, come back where I don't have to drive through this maze of crazy. Because as you can see, it's not that easy. I haven't even made it to the gas station. Holy guacamole, man. Guacamole. 
be there's some patches that are all right, but then you'll round the corner and you'll have stuff like this on the other side of this, if I'm not mistaken, that's where I saw it. These two trees that I just, oh, uh, they're not as bad looking this way. Well, that angle still sucks. Can't really get through that very well, right there. To cut my way through. But you'll see, I'm just about back to the logs, and I'll load them up, and then you guys will be able to see the road and see why I want to turn around and do it the other way, because this way is not a lot of fun. Whoa, tree. Whoa, tree. Almost hit a tree. Don't mind me. They are everywhere. I will probably hit a few. Oh, I caught one with the trailer. That is. Whoops, wrong button. There we go, and I'm out. And I'm out. This is, as you can see, there's the shopping shop. So I'm back to where I started, but it takes a while, so, and I can't even get three full trees on there. As you can also see, I only got like a tree and a half on there. So, I'm going to start the other way and go backwards. So, I will bring you guys back in. Once I'm done with a little bit more logging down on that end.
$9,345. Not bad, considering we started... Really started this whole thing with, like, <laughs> negative $31. So, yeah, I'm gonna park my rig over here. Start clearing this area up a bit. Stick it in the corner. No. And then we'll come back for it if we need it. For now, I think it'll be fine right over here. Shut it down, hop out, and do our thing. Well, I'm going to get this area cleared up, and I'm going to stop recording all together for a little while, and then I'll bring you guys back in. Y you know what? I changed my mind. I think we're going to do a little math together before I go, so we know exactly what we're looking to come up with. So for our two trailers, we need, we'll even go in and modify them to the ways that would make my little heart go pity patter. So I do want the trailer hitch. I like those tires and I like dark rims. So that would be $40,100 for each one of those. So we need... $80,200 for the two of them that I want. And then let's see, what else did we want to get here? We wanted to get ourselves a dolly. That's this one, but I also want to soup it up the way I want it. I know exactly what I'm looking for. And I'm not going to do anything with that anyways. I do want the side markers. We'll make that black gloss. Oh, those I don't care about. What is going on? I don't quite know why that was hanging off the screen like that weird chrome blackouts yes yes so that would be another 75k on top of that whoops 75 so we're looking at 877 so far and then comes the big purchases. These are the big ones. Whoops, shouldn't have backed out that far. These are the ones that are going to hurt. This one here will be one of the more expensive, but that harvester will be our most expensive piece we buy all day long. I like the big old engine, so that gives me 2,010 horsepower. Can't go wrong right there. I love the sets of threes, but the threes with the red lights are just too much power. I end up crashing every time I do it. So, special edition, no window tint, no exhaust. We'll go twin stacked angle because I like those. The Aussie bumper, too. Uh, I haven't figured out what the difference on those are, so whatever, we'll leave it one. I do like the add-ons. I like the work rack with lights. Um, I like design too, because it matches your roof paint. Emergency light, yes, we'll go with strobe. V-strobe in the front. And then I will put it at 800. 
You'll see why, because if I come up here... I can stretch it just a little bit. And I'll make that 800 fit. I'll do it to there. T-bars, yes! Where is my capacity? There we go. I think I can get the 800 in there. Oh yeah, look at that. 800 gallons. Wow! Shouldn't need any fuel for a while. And I'll do this again before I bring you guys back in. So you won't have to watch me do this twice. But it'll end up looking like this here. Oops, wrong one. I like that in black gloss. Race red gloss. Cabin will make that black gloss. Red gloss. Cabin roof. We'll make that black gloss as well. Did I click on black gloss? I did. Fenders. We will go with. Let's see if they have that blacked out chrome. Chrome blackout one. Booyah. Rim, Chrome Blackout 1, where are you? Right there. And then the only other thing I will add is the vinyls. And we will go with this one here, just because I really like it. So that'll be our truck, and that'll run us... One hundred and seventy one thousand five hundred dollars. Plus our eighty seven five. Plus, we're not done yet, folks. Plus. We are going to need ourselves one of these here, and that's going to run us $208,000, but I will have all these things, you'll see, before I come back, before you come back. And in this episode, you will see, you will see, my friends. And one of these. We will soup it all up the way I like it. And you'll see all this stuff again. Whoops, I went right by it. When I am all done. I'm looking just like so. We'll get us one of these, and this was the big one. Five hundred and one thousand and five hundred dollars. Five hundred and one thousand five hundred. Let's see if I can math this up real quick and get us a total. Oh, I'm not such a math wizard, but I do have a calculator somewhat handy. So let's see what we're looking at here. 87,500. Plus. 171,500. Plus. 208,000.
plus $501,500 equals a grand total of $968,500 plus the cost of the sawmill. But we'll deal with that when we get there. So let me get to work and I will come back at you guys in a little bit. Alright folks, I did it. And there they are. Our new fleet. Two of the 12 meter trailers, like I said, a dolly. My truck, which also, if you look, will show you a sleep trigger when you get right up. But I do have the ability to sleep in this bad boy. So this will be our house for now. Um, so it kind of killed two birds with one stone. Um, not the most lavish accommodations, obviously. Um, but we don't need them. We're making it down, right? We'll get there. We'll make ourselves a really nice house at some point. I want to live on the other side, I think, so I think I'm going to put everything over here. On this side of the water. And then I'm going to live, I think, on the other side of the water. I don't like people that much, so... Oh, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I'm not. I'm a weirdo. What can I say? I like people. But I also like to be very separate from people, so... Eh, you know, it is what it is. So. Well, that'll get rid of this one. No, I'll the other one to it. And I should be able to show you the sleep ability. Oh, and by the way, I'll have to show you all the neat stuff that you can have in the tab. You know, kinds of design elements that they throw in there. It's like your little trinkets, the things you might find. So if we had uh, collectibles, for example, it looks like the collectibles. They are not actually the collectibles. They look like them. Oh, almost had it. There it is. Cue to connect, and we are connected. Alright, so my truck's all hooked up. Get it turned and ready to rock. So I've only cleared about halfway here, maybe a little bit more. Um, let me hop out of this thing. Oops. But if you notice, see that right there? B. Sleep. So I can sleep in this bad boy, should I decide I want to. Um, and then this is an auto-loading folder. I'll make nice little piles. And then this is my harvester. Let me hop in it and get its settings all set up. And, uh... We'll be good to go from there. So I will finish up the road in this episode and see how much money I make. I probably won't keep talking and I'll probably do something. I don't know. I'll figure out how to do it. But I'll show you a little bit of how I'm making the road. Now that I have all my fun equipment. But uh, yeah, we'll go from there and I'll bring you guys back into the fit.
the land yet, so I can't use my harvester. I'm going to have to continue to use Lumberjack. I'll cut it into six meter sections, stack them up. Once we have enough money, we'll buy this here land. So we need, let's see what we need for cash to make that happen. So cash to make that happen, I need to come up with another $238,000. Shouldn't be too hard. I'll get on that and I'll get back with you guys when I can actually do some real harvesting.
I've gotten the road all cleared up now. As you can see, once I purchased the land, which I just did, that harvester makes such a huge difference. It took me about a third of the time to get this entire stretch done as it did to get just a little tiny piece done before. So this is definitely going to change things, and I'm making about 200 grand per load, give or take. Um, but what I've been doing is filling this baddie up, driving it forward, and down near the gas station down there. That's where I've been dropping them off. And then I'll have my truck come through and pick all that up take it back. It's so much quicker to do it that way. Rather than any other way or drive my truck, that really long thing down here makes it very difficult. So that is that. Um, I'll give you guys a fly over here in a few minutes and then we'll call it an episode. Just about completed all this. We'll go and pick up the last bit of the logs here in a second, but I want to show you guys what I got done today. So we'll do this and this, and then we'll speed up my running. That on. And let's take a quick look. So, this is what we got done today. Not bad, if I do say so myself. A little road running through. I still got those logs there to pick up. Down to about here. And that's about it. And then all the rest of these have been picked up. Haven't done anything on the far side of the shop, because I don't own that land yet. But then you come down the road... Got to do a little bit of work here. Might get rid of that tree. One or two of the other ones, we'll kind of see what comes of what. But there's the what we got done today. You can see, my truck is sitting down here waiting. Got a few trees cleared up on this edge here, getting ready to put in some productions. And there is my original Jeep and trailer. Just as ordered. 
Yeah, I'll zoom right down on it, and that'll be the end of this clip for today. Folks, thank you for joining me. Now I just need to edit this beast up and call it a day. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you next episode. This has been Mando Farmer. Have a great day.